right, this is going to be a video about the basics of programming your EV3 brick. Uh, we're going to go from hooking the brick up to the computer and we're going to go through starting a motor. So if you can hook it up and get a motor running, this is probably too basic for you. But anyway, let's get started. Uh, we're going to go up here to the file menu. Actually, before we go start doing anything there, let's turn on the EV3 brick here. So we're going to press the power button right there. And then while that's powering on, we're going to go up to the file menu. And we're going to select new project right here. And now down here in this lower right hand corner, you see this uh, section right here. And it's telling us that we don't have a brick connected. And of course, that's correct. It's still booting. And uh, there we go. That's all booted up. So let's go ahead and hook that up now. So we're going to take the USB, put it right here on that PC port. And now it's bringing up our brick. And it has all of the ports on the brick. So these top ones are E, B, C, and D right here. That's where you put your motors. 1 to 4 right here on the back. That's where you're going to put your sensors. And now we're going to go back to the, the program screen here. And now we want to run that motor. So we're going to go down here to the bottom of the screen. And these are all motor bricks. These first two are for a medium motor or a large motor. And we're going to go ahead and select a large motor because that's what we plugged in there. And we're going to drag that up. We're going to drag that up next to that start button. And now on this brick here, we have uh, several selections that we can make. Let's start out up here in this corner. We have port A, and that's because we plugged it into that port. I mean, you can see it plugged in right down here in port A. And then we have this selection, which is going to be one of these, off, on, on for a number of seconds, on for a number of degrees, or on for rotations. We're going to go ahead and leave that on for rotations here. And now this next section is the power that's given to the motor. And it goes from positive 100 to negative 100. So if you wanted to go backwards, you'd set it at negative. And we're going to go ahead and set it up here. 44, sure, that's fine. And then this is the number of rotations. And then this last selection tells it whether or not it should stop the motor or let the motor keep spinning. But there we go. So now that's all hooked up and it should run. Now if we press this button here, it's going to run it through our EV3 brick. Uh, but it won't download the program onto the EV3 brick. If we press this button, it's going to download it and run it. And if we don't want to run it right now, but we want to put it on the brick, we're just going to hit this button right here, download. So now let's go ahead and run that. And we will change videos here. Take a look at this motor running. All right. So there we go, it turned around one rotation. All right, so that is hooking up your EV3 brick and getting a motor started. In the next video, we'll talk about uh, this section here, which is some switches and uh, loops and stuff like that. And, uh, and then we can start building some cool stuff. Thanks a lot. See you next time.